Hey folks, today I am going to be going over another problem from the Daily Byte. And the problem is, given a string representing the sequence of moves a robot vacuum makes, return whether or not it will return its um, to its original or its original position. And the starting string will only contain L, R, U, and D characters representing left, right, up, and down respectively. So this is a pretty simple problem and let's do it in Python. So first let's start out by making our method. We'll call it vacuum and the input will be the moves. So then what we'll do is we'll start out by creating our variables X and Y because we want to view this as a X and Y axis. And we'll just say we'll start at zero so that we can kind of um, just start at the, at the zero spot. And then the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is loop through all of the items in our string. So we'll say for move in moves, we're gonna go for each letter in the word move, the um, input moves, we'll say if move is equal to left, then we want to decrease the x axis. So that will say minus equals one. If elif move equals right, the R, then we'll say X plus equals one. And then LF move equals U, Y plus equals one, because we want to increase the Y axis. And then finally, we'll say LF move equals, what's the last one? Left, right, up, down, <laughs> D. Um, we'll make y go down, so y minus equals one, because we want y to decrease. And then finally, what we gotta do is now check to see is our x and y at the end gonna be equal to zero, zero. And so we'll say return x is equal to zero, and we wanna make sure y is equal to zero, or else it should return false. So this is gonna return a Boolean. Um, so the next thing we want to do is write some unit tests. So let's say assert vacuum, and then we'll do some tests based off of the examples they have here. So we'll say LR, and we want that to equal true. And then we'll say um, LR should be true. Oops, I spelled that wrong. And then we'll copy this and create two more from uh, from the one we already created. So next thing I'll do is copy this next one and make sure that that one is gonna equal false. And then finally, we'll copy this one and make sure that that one is equal to true as well. And once we run this, it should have no output, no errors. So let's give it a run. Okay, we, we got a bull, uh, an error, so let's see what's the problem. Um, okay. Vacuum. It doesn't like, what is it want? Like. Bool object is not iterable. Hmm. I see what we did here. So this we accidentally put that the string is equal to true within the input and then this should actually be equals true here. Sometimes you make these little mistakes and it's hard to find but good thing we found this one pretty quickly. Okay, so let's run it again. Okay, no errors. So this is how you do that problem. So now let's talk about the amount of time and space that this will take. Um, it's gonna have to loop through the moves one time and it's gonna have to go through each letter in moves. And so that would be O of N time. And then the storage space would be O of one because we have to store the X and Y variables, but that is constant. Um, so that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this problem and good luck with any interviews.